Cajun Kitchen Podcast. Today, I'm not cooking. Not cooking nothing right now, but later on, we'll be cooking some soup. Anyway, here's what I got going on. I'm going to show you what's happening now. Getting towards springtime, I'm getting ready for my crawfish. This little baby here, this little baby right here, this is what I use to see when it's time to catch my crawfish. A lot of people look in the sky, and they be checking out there looking for a Scorpio and all that. When they see a scorpion, I see a crawfish. The only difference, the tail pointing down. Well, right now, the scorpio's up there doing this thing. The crawfish is doing this thing. When I see the crawfish, I know it's time to do my stuff. Get on the side, boy. All right. Catch a good crawfish. That's what I do. That's my, uh, my, my little stick. When I don't have my boat ready, I don't feel like messing with it, I go on the bank of the bayou. That's my stick. You see, it's got a notch in there. You got to have a good pail, some good melt, good beef, some good melt, some good beef melt. Some melt is, is a bait. That, that's what you use. It bleeds a lot. You know, you put it in your net, you squeeze it, and it draws the crawfish to it. Here's what you do. You see, I got my nets right here. We got them set in the water, set them in the water, they bed it uh, back up, leave them alone. The next thing you know, do a little simulation. The next thing you know, you know, after about 10 minutes, 15 minutes, you come back, and you can't see your net because the water line is up to here. You want to keep it under at least a foot of water. You go over there and you see my little red string so I won't lose the net. I go without touching the wire, pick it up, and you see how that is? Usually it's full of coffee. And that gives you time to pick it up, put it over to your tub. You get it to your tub and you empty it. Oh yeah, I'll give you a, a little demonstration. Oh, that's my net, that's my coffee. Here's these crawfish nets are made like this. Triangle wires. You got your bait. I got a safety pin down here. To hook my meat to. It's like this in the water. And when I'm all done, at the end of the day, pick them up, fold them up. Got a close pin that's about 20 years old. You don't make them like that no more. Hook my close pin to keep it closed, you see? Then I just take them and hang them up on the door. Just like that. The way it works. And I love to catch my own crawfish. You know, a lot of, a lot of people have traps, crawfish traps. And that's good. It's good for the ponds. It's good for deep water. When you're in the deep water, you got a wire trap, a big wire trap. The, the ones in the rice fields, they're not as big. Going for, in the spillway to catch spillway crawfish, you need the big trap because you let your trap sit in there. Pretty good while, and they big, so they hold a lot. So when you come back to run your trap, run your crawfish traps, guess what? It's full. You empty them, you get a bigger tub than that. You got a wash tub, a wash tub. That's a number three. Go ahead, open the bottom of your trap, drop your, drop your crawfish out the bottom into the bar, into the tub. Hurry up, close it back, check your bait, close it back, put it back in, and move on to your next one. Now those are about five feet underwater. Somewhere like five feet underwater. Here's a different kind of crawfish net that I use. You see? Little round one. Got my bait in there. Same thing. This one here. Pick it here. I do. Just like that. All right. Pull that in here. You can see my little wine room. Miss Shirley done got my wine room taken over right now because I'm not making wine, so it's there for 
plant. And when you're done, I take my tub, my coffee, get on to the house. I know I've got my pot ready, ready to go. You always keep you some good seasoning. I've got some good pictures coming up of me getting prepared at the grocery store. Chef Bouquet, talking to you, say, aye, oh, yeah, baby, take it easy, Jack. <laughs>